Okay, okay that's a no. That's why we don't yeah. win. So. Yeah, yeah. I, I but we all try now constantly not to commit this mistake again. Exactly. So we don't lie. So if you ask me now, yes, no, I don't lie. But I have lied in the past when I was young I and mischievous, right? That's so that's the past state of being. But we all try now, as I'm a Muslim, you're a Muslim? Yeah. Muslims. To, to not to lie because God asks us to speak the truth even if it is against our own benefit. Stand firm on justice, even if it goes against myself, my family, my relatives. This is what we should be upholding. I understand that. Yeah. But what I was saying is, when I saw my left, I knew that I have broken the law of God at least once in my life. I have, I have broken at least once in my life the word of God. Okay. If I have, then I'm a lawbreaker in both sides. But God knows that we are weak and he must have been... That's my point. But God has created us knowing that we may fall. That's yeah? the point. And isn't God merciful and forgiving? And just and fair. Yeah. So, Forgiveness is actually part of his justice, that when someone makes a mistake and sincerely repents and turns back to God and makes the intention not to do it again, God would be forgiving. He is actually all forgiving. That's one of his attributes. If you go to the tribunal, the courts, hmm. and the judge just talk about, yeah, uh, so and so, have committed murder, he did someone, and they recognize that, and they just say, okay, he's forgiven, just go away. The family is there. You have broken the law. You have to have something written against us. Yeah. But you are equating with, say, stealing a lollipop and killing someone. There are laws of retribution where God has already placed, if you kill someone, in return you have to be killed, or the victim's family may decide to seek compensation because the victim is not no longer alive or forgive you altogether but there will be this justice done when we come justice done justice done for, for, for we're talking about this retribution of laws but say someone let me give you an example and see how you respond a five-year-old steals a lollipop from the shop even after being told by the parents don't steal because god says not to steal it's bad for you to steal so According to what you understand about justice of God and mercy of God, do you think God is going to put this child into hellfire because of this, or God will be merciful? God, hmm? no, that child will do nothing yet. The child cannot be reason yet. Just something stupid. He doesn't know. Good. So God cannot judge that child. So but you're saying as, it's as um, adults, adults different. We know mm. we can reason, we make a choice to do that. Okay. So we are, we are guilty. Okay, so let me, let's say we made a mistake, right? Yay. And then you immediately re recognize your mistake. Yeah. And you are sorry, you turn to God in repentance and you say, I'm not going to do that again. Yeah. Please forgive me. Okay? If you've actually insulted someone, you say, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me, I apologize. And, you know, you bring gifts to that person and say, okay, please accept my apology. Yes. Would God be <coughs> kind and merciful and forgive? Or he's going to put that person to hellfire for that? God understands, but because of his justice mm -hmm. to be made, mm -hmm. his justice to be made, mm -hmm. sin has to be forgiven. But God has set a way. Okay. But the wages of sin is death. Not necessarily. Because all sins are not equal. Sins are categories and degrees. You can't say all sins are equal. Stealing a lollipop by an adult and killing someone, if you say they deserve the same penalty, that's not just. Is it? Maybe in the Quran. No, is it? I'm asking you. In the Bible, it doesn't say this sin is different from this sin. The commandment, so the, if you are a liar, you break the law. If you commit murder, you break the law. So the punishment for someone stealing a lollipop from a shop, I'm talking about adults, and someone murdering and committing whole genocide of a country, they deserve the same punishment. 
Is this what you're the saying? Wages of sin is dead. I'm not asking you about that. Sin Do they sin. deserve the same punishment? Yes. So that they're basically, punished. their crimes and their punishment, you're saying, irrespective of what crime it is, the punishment is the same. Is this what justice is? That's what justice is. Justice is? First, you have to come off that sin first. That mistake has to be atoned for. Is God for forgiving in the Bible? Very forgiving. Can he forgive or does he forgive without any payment requirement? No. So he doesn't really forgive them. Do you know what forgiveness is? Let me tell you it, a way of forgiveness. You borrowed some one thousand pounds from me. You said you're gonna give me next month. Next month I came to you and said I can't give it. In fact, I give you some, some other time. He said I cannot give my money back. I don't have a bank, I don't have a friend. I cannot give your return your money back at all. I say, okay. Let it go. Don't you don't have to return any single penny to me. I forgive you. Now, so I have forgiven you without demanding any payment. Are you saying God cannot forgive without demanding a payment? God in order to forgive you, mm -hmm. has put on himself to pay your debts. So someone steals a lollipop, the way God forgives is by punishing himself. Yes. He, he paid your debts. He paid to the best. He paid more than he knew. So it's an interesting idea. God created human beings with free will, knowing that some of them will do it all wrong actions. Them. Okay, all of them will do wrongs. And he's going to punish himself for their wrongdoing, to forgive them. So you have a God Almighty who did not create people with free will at one point. There was no human beings. So he is creating human beings knowing that they will do wrong, all of them according to you. And the way he's going to forgive them by punishing himself. Does that sound he sensible? The oh, no, he punished himself. <laughs> that... Wait, let me explain. He paid the debt. Hmm? He paid your debt. What you owe him, what we owe, he paid the debt. But let's understand one thing. So we commit a mistake yes. and God wants to forgive us. And the way he forgives us by himself being punished. By himself. He, let me explain. He paid the debt, but you won't know that he has paid the debt. I so want to know how he, he forgives. Yes. So he show yourself mm -hmm. by putting Jesus Christ. That's himself. Yes. By putting himself in your state. Mm -hmm. Where you should be. So that you can see that, oh, this is the way I should have been punished. But he was punished instead of me. So you can thank God that, oh, he has punished yeah, me. Yeah, but the, the whole thing needs to be looked at centrally, not peripherally. You have God in your concept who created human beings knowing that every single one of them according to you will do wrong and he's made a way to forgive them the only way he will forgive them is by inflicting pain and punishment on himself he didn't inflict the punishment on himself that's the way he's going to forgive yeah he paid the debt but to do that how does he forgive by being punishing himself if God did not show you how he forgive you, you will not know what he did to you. He paid the debt. And You're saying you this is not a teaching Jesus only. Christ. You're saying this is not a teaching. He says the only way God forgives is by punishing himself, to please himself, to appease himself. I'm telling you, God has forgiven you. But me and you, we but, don't but, know. But how does he forgive? He show us, he put our, if this is our sin, mm -hmm. if this was my sin, it is heavy. He put my sin on him, Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Because Jesus is taking my sin, I feel like I can say, oh Jesus, thank you for thank you for taking my thank you for taking God, thank you for sending yourself. No. So God 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 takes the punishment on his behalf for the sins of the people. Yeah? So God punishes himself to save the sins. He is you putting that word, he punishes himself. He punishes what happened? Himself. Did he not punish I'm himself? I'm taking it as human being using language. Yeah? That's what is the happening? Way we can express. But what I'm saying is God 
the father, because he loves him, because he loves each one of, of us, he loves us so much and he knows we are going to hell. What he did, he took on himself. He said, Oh, my people have I lost them to see. Who but does I he, love them. Who does he who does he punish in hellfire? The sin or the sinner? First, the Lucifer said that he wants to see where God sees. Lucifer, he was the angel, the worship angel, said, I want to be well God. I want to be like God. I want to go. And he said, you go low there. Now, those who say, okay, God give 